screen. Here, take the swab. Mmm, good. It's really good. Hey everybody, um, welcome to our daily breather. We're the Exodentals. Welcome to the attic. Um, hope you'll join us for a little bit of some meditation and a little bit of gratitude to start off our day or to take a break in the middle of the day if you've already been up for a while. Um, and today's a really special day. We have a single release. We'll talk about that later. Um, but we can barely contain our excitement. So <laughs> yep. we're going to take a deep calming breath. And today we're going to light two candles. Yep. So we're going to light this first one for all the people on the front lines working in medicine, working small uh, small businesses, um, and being educators and all the, all the hard jobs right now. Um, this is for you. And this candle, Michael will talk about. Yeah, so this candle is going to be for everybody that is helping their community um, and staying indoors, staying home, and staying safe. Uh, we got a message from somebody uh, a couple days ago who, um, this person, she'd been in her house for about a month without leaving, um, and she said that she just needed a hug. So we just want to let you guys know that staying inside and helping your community in that way is vital and is super important so this one's for you know that you're loved and we're going to harness some of that light and put it out there in the world with a very deep breath starting on the count of three one two three in And out. And we're going to follow by simply picking one thing a day that we're grateful for. Feel free to join us in the comments. We love reading them afterwards and seeing what you guys are all grateful for. Um, it can be you know, something like we mentioned, all the people who we love, or uh, it could be something really small that we try not to take for granted every day. Michael, do you want to start with your daily gratitude? Sure. Uh, I might have said something similar to it in the past, but I'm really thankful for sunlight today and for nature. Uh, after, you know, in a situation like this where it's been raining for four days straight and uh, the sun finally came out and the birds are singing, uh, it just really elevated me this morning, so I'm just super thankful for, for good weather. I'm thankful for woodpeckers. I think, I mean, I've talked about birds in the past, but woodpeckers are, like, so funny. Like, they're really entertaining. They, they've been flying around the house lately, and um, lately they've been going to the ground, which I didn't know that they could do. I mean, it makes sense, but it's, it's so cool just to watch them interact with their environment. I feel like I'm seeing more of them than I ever have before, so... I'm grateful for having the time to, to watch that happen. I'm grateful for Wi-Fi today. I haven't mentioned it, I don't think. Um, it's kind of tied into all the technology that we've been um, using every day to do things like this. Um, but you never know how good Wi-Fi is until you're about to do a live stream and the Wi-Fi cuts out. And you <laughs> Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? Of course. Yeah. Big Wi-Fi. So... <laughs> We're gonna follow uh, gratitude with a little tune, and we're gonna play our single that's coming out today um, in conjunction with the Contemporary Youth Orchestra and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame out of Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, it's a piece inspired by um, a classical tune we used to play in our orchestra class at Traverse City West Senior High. So the song goes back to those roots. It's called Requiem for a Lark.
something I didn't recognize A couple singing songs in the sun It sounded sweet, it sounded dark A requiem for the light Engaged and embedded in my brain with me I heard a song that stays with me well, I heard a song that stays for tuning in um uh that song in particular is all about um inspiration spawning inspiration and finding um you know inspiration and in everything in the daily art all around you so um if you want to find the chords or the lyrics um it's online and we have all the links on our facebook page if you want to check it out next we're going to recommend a book and we're going to recommend one that is kind of apt for the mm -hmm. album artworks. Some of you guys have been asking what <laughs> this is. It is not a pterodactyl. <laughs> it is a paper crane. We're going to explain the story behind the artwork later today at our show on the ARC Ann Arbor Facebook page. We're going to start it at 7.30 and do an origami paper crane making party and talk about the album artwork. And as a result, we are recommending the origami handbook which has many different things that you can make, um, not just paper cranes. Yeah, this is a book that I've had for a really long time, and I want to say the author does a really good job of not only uh, giving instructions about how to make origami, but he also has a whole section devoted to uh, the history and the cultural significance of origami um, in Japan. So I think it's really cool to do a little reading about it. Um, like I said, this book has been, you know, in my house forever this. yeah <laughs> and i'm still not we're still not great at origami but we have fun with it and it's i think a great idea to use crafting to um stay present and um yeah be in the moment so origami handbook by rick beach check it out it's really good cool cool mm -hmm. so um yeah We've got a couple of different things going on today. I'll try to talk slowly. I'm very excited, but I know this is supposed to be a, <laughs> not like a crazy chaotic thing. It's meant to be like a breath away from the chaos. So what do we have going on today? So at two o'clock EDT, we are going to be releasing our music video for Requiem for a Lark on YouTube and we're doing a watch party. So the link is actually, um, oh, I forgot to put it in the description of this video. There's a whole post right below this video on our Facebook page that has all the links. I'm going to add the links to this video afterwards, too. But um, what you can do is at 2 o'clock, you can go to this YouTube link and we'll go live. Or you can click on it right now and click on the notification button, the little remind me button, and it'll remind you when we go live. So that's happening at 2, the premiere of our music video on YouTube. And then at 5 o'clock, we're going to release the song itself. Um, so... And for your student, you'll be able to go to theaccidentalsmusic.com slash education and download the song for free, which is super cool. And if you're an educator, there's a link There's a link to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's website. It's rockhall.com slash, and it's got the stuff next to it. That'll be in this video, and it's also in the post on our Facebook page. Um, so definitely click on that. If you're an educator, you can get the free score, the sheet music, the song, the lyrics, and the chords. Crazy. And then uh, lastly, 
at 7.30, like I said, we're going to be doing a little pre-show party on the X... Uh, wow. We're going to be doing a pre-show party on the Arc Ann Arbor's Facebook page starting at 7.30 EDT. So what that means is that everybody's going to go there at 7.30. We're going to do this paper crane making party. We're going to talk a little bit about the song itself and the artwork. And then we're going to play a giant daily breather show on the Arc's Facebook page. So go to facebook.com slash the Arc Ann Arbor at 7.30 to be part of this really cool experience and drop your requests in the comments of that chat and we'll play we'll try to get to as many as possible within the hour but yeah today's release day lots of stuff going on <laughs> and as usual um we're supporting our local bookstore brilliant books who are pushing out tons of online orders right now um we have all the daily breather books um recommended on their website and a uh, link for that is in the description, and you can find all the Daily Breather songs on our Spotify playlist and all of our Daily Breather videos on our YouTube playlist. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, check out the Facebook post for all the details, and we will see you guys soon. <laughs>